atmospheric pressure boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's call that our T3. And it boils at atmospheric pressure, which is 14.7 pounds per square inch, absolute. At the vacuum pressure of 24 inches of mercury, let's call that our P1. 24 inches of mercury vacuum, so there's a negative here. Let's convert that into PSIA. We know that for every 14.7 PSIA there is 29.92 inches of mercury. So these cancel out. And we still need to convert that into absolute. So simply add our atmospheric pressure and this should be equal to 2.909 um, PSI absolute. And the temperature at this pressure is 142 degrees Fahrenheit. Find the boiling temperature, let's call that T2. Find the boiling temperature when the pressure is increased by 40 PSIA from atmospheric. So let's call that our P2. And it's simply saying that you're increasing, or rather you're adding 40 psi to atmospheric, which, is give, which should give us 54.7 psia. So notice that this is actually an interpolation problem, and we can make a table out of this to make our lives easier. So let's say our first column is temperature and our second column is pressure. T1 would be 142 degrees Fahrenheit. P1 would be 2.909 PSIA. T2 is what we're looking for, but P2 is given at 54.7. PSIA T3 is 212 and P3 is atmospheric. Let's make a little bit of a space here. And this is our table. So to interpolate, simply T2 minus T3 over T2 minus T1. Similarly for pressure, P2 minus P3 and um, P2 minus P1. Now we do have this. We have this as well. Right here. P2, we also have P2 also have P2 down here, P3 right here, P1 right here. So we can actually find T2 now. Let's put that in our in our calculator. X minus T3, X minus T1, P2 minus P3, P2 again, minus P1. Shift solve, and we get a value of four hundred and forty nine point forty seven degrees Fahrenheit. Closest answer is A, so that is our final answer. I hope this helps. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Like and subscribe for more videos and I will see you next time.